September the 25th. Uh, we are in the classroom. I decided to record this segment of the session as we're doing some technical exercises with Illustrator. So I'm going to share my screen now, and this gives everyone a chance to follow this up in case you didn't understand it the first time. So here we go. So I'm going to post this recording once it's done. What we're doing is we're continuing the logo challenge. I can't stress how helpful or important this is to my students from the past, even to now and the future, because once you learn how to do all these little techniques, there's nothing you can't do with the program. So the next one I wanted to do was by popular demand. Everybody chose this one here. So we're going to do that one. But before we do that, I want to make sure you understand the foundation basics of step and repeat and technical rotation execution. OK. So to do that, I'm going to go over here, right? And I'm going to ask you all to look at the clock and just kind of notice something important. Uh, how many how many different uh, numbers are there on the clock? How many hours in a day? 24. So why is there 12? <laughs> right? AM and PM, right? So we're all concerned about it's 12 different numbers. So if we do 12 in a circle, so let's draw, draw a circle first. Here's a nice circle here. Press D for default. And we're going to make the, the circle a little thicker. Oh, let's press Command Y mode here. Let's make the stroke uh, two points. This can be the clock, OK? All right. And now this can be the number. I don't know if you saw those fancy Movado watches, but some of them don't have the numbers. They just have the little symbols or little squares or something. So we'll keep this on modern design. I'm not going to put, we can put numbers later if you want. But I'm just going to put the um, the rectangle tool here. This little rectangle will represent the, where the number 12, I guess, is. I'm going to switch these two so it looks like that. Maybe I'll take out the white uh, stroke. Just keep it a black fill. So it's nice and simple. Basically. I have a rectangle and, a, and a, a circle, a perfect circle and a rectangle. And I want to make sure these are perfectly aligned. How do I make sure they're perfectly aligned? I select both of them and I go up here. There's left, center, right. Obviously, you pick center to keep them perfectly aligned in the center. Make sense? OK, so done. Now, I want to evenly Distribute this square rectangle across the clock in a perfect rotary fashion to mimic the clock's direction and positioning of each number. So how to do that? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna start guessing and doing this and start guessing what this is. That's not gonna work. Okay. It's never gonna be perfect. So is there a technical way to do this? And this is why I'm doing this to show you how Illustrator. Is the only program on the planet that can do this that effectively and that accurately. There's not too many programs in the world that I know that can do this. OK, so I want you to really see the power of Illustrator, not just drawing and stuff. Technical execution because you might create apps and icons for your website or for your app or a prototype, and you're going to have to create your own stuff, right? Not just rely on clip art or illustrations on the web. There's nothing you can't do in Illustrator. So let's go ahead and do it. We click on this one. Let's do some math. What's the circumference of a circle? What degree is it? 360, OK. And how many numbers do we need? 12. What's 360 divided by 12? Right, too early to do math, I know. <laughs> do you guys have a coffee? You got to get a coffee in the morning. 30. 30 times 12 is 360, right? OK, so this needs a 30 degree rotation all the way around. So here's what we'll do. We'll put on uh, we'll, we'll put this on here, right? We'll press Command Y. When you press Command or Control Y, you can see the center of the circle and the center of the object and the object is selected. So watch me now. I only select the square, not the circle, only select the rectangle. You're going to go to the Rotate tool, R for rotate. Okay. You're going to go over here, right? See in the middle here? Perfectly in the center. You can't miss. It's going to be right in the center. You're going to hold, you're going to hold Option or Alt, and you're going to click right in the center. 
This will give you an, a dialog option of a rotation angle, and you're going to put 30 or minus. So minus 30 is clockwise. 30 is counterclockwise. Don't ask me why. It's how the program is. I'll put minus 30. You can do 30. It doesn't matter if it's minus 30. And just get a preview of how it's going to bend that way. You see, it's, it's a preview of where it's going to go. Based on, the, based on the axis of rotation, we told it to hold here and go 30, 30, 30, 30, 30. Get it? That's what we're doing, right? We told it to stay there, hold it there, but rotate it that way. It's like holding like a, like a string. Doesn't they make those crop circles in Ireland? They thought it was aliens, right? They did the crop circle thing with the stick. Same thing. <laughs> you put the thing here, and you're rotating. So 30 degrees, but then you have to press copy. So when you press copy, it's a duplicate. And now you press Control or Command D, Command D, Command D, Command D, all the way to the 11 o'clock number. And then we press Command Y, and there's a clock. So try it. I'll do it again. Here we go. So one more time, right? So we have we have this we have this selected, right? Press Control Y so you can see the center. Control Y. Then with the rotate tool, you're gonna hold Alt or Option and click in the center. Oh, but please make sure, please make sure this is selected. This has to be selected. So let me just make sure this is selected. Rotate tool, Option, click in the center. And then you type in 30, type 30. And press Copy, Copy. And then press Control D, Control D, Control D. Try it a few times, right? And then exit from the preview mode, which is Control Y. Yeah. 
deselect this event, I think you select them here and put only on the black rectangle right? press the control line. Then you do the Okay, now you can do it in the next video. I'm going to show you how it works. 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 I'm going to show you how it
Okay. I'm gonna stop this recording. <laughs> I'm going to stop recording the session and continue with the next one.